Not a fan of all one flight controllers? Well, I got the stack for you. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So most of you don't like all, some of you don't like all one flight controllers and prefer to do just separate stacks for each dedicated job of the quad. For example, you'd want a PDB instead of the PDB and the flight controller to be built into one, or you'd want separate ESCs instead of having a four in one ESC. So if one burns, you don't have to replace the whole board. And, you know, this is a whole personal preference type of thing. You know, some people prefer it this way, some people prefer it that way. I myself is a big fan of all one flight controllers, especially the ones with the integrated ESCs, such as the Racer Star Star F4S and the Racer Star Star F3S and the Asgard V2s. However, not everyone's the same. We recently built this one on the channel, and I, I thought it was going to be pretty unique to do something with this. I had the FR Sky uh, F4 flight controller with the XSR receiver. And I also had the Maytek VTX, which uh, which is basically a PDB and a VTX all in one together. So I thought it'd be pretty unique to actually put these two together and see how actually how, how it's going to perform. If it's going to fly, it's going to be reliable, it's going to be any good, and um, to see how the overall outcome is going to be. I must say I'm very happy I actually did this because this proves to be one of the cleanest, most beautiful stacks I've ever seen. Because you basically you don't usually on a, on a quad like this you would see the VTX up here. You would see the receiver somewhere up here or down here. You, you, know, you know what I mean. But here, it's not. It's just a two stack, and you have basically almost everything in them. You have your bottom stack, which is the PDB and the VTX, and it also uh, takes the Tramp protocol, if I remember correctly. So you could switch your VTX power channel and everything through the Betaflight OSD, which is a big plus. So, the, you know, it's not just a VTX. So it does have all those new features. So the bottom is that Maytek vtx slash pdb so now we just basically finished our vtx and pdb in one board we don't have to solder anything together there so that's also a big plus and if we go up here we have the fr sky f4 flight controller which has the receiver built in it has an xsr receiver built in and the receiver is already soldered in so basically here's four components in two boards that's absolutely awesome it keeps it overall very clean and it just keeps it absolutely beautiful Another thing that I just noticed, um, I have been flying this a lot lately, and it flies beautiful, and I've had no issues with it. However, you know, it, it comes down also to do with, with good ESCs, and I'm using absolutely one of the best ESCs I've ever tested, which is the DYS Aria. And I do have new ESCs to test, which I believe could be a little bit better than this, but I'm not sure yet because I've not done the real world testing. So back to the flight controller. So I've been looking at it right now, and actually I noticed that I did not even soft mount it, and it was flying that beautiful so that that right there says a lot to me. Um, it's just it's 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 overall it's a very very nice, um, beautiful build in my opinion. Now I love the internal components of this quad so much. I am going to be making the internals here as you see everything, as our frame testing setup because it's going to be very easy to swap out. So for example, here we have that new Dal RC frame which is this guy right here. I was planning on doing some crazy build, but before that, let's go ahead and test out the frame. I'm gonna rip the internals off of this guy, put them in here, test out the frame, it's good, come back, report to you guys, and then uh, we could build it with something else. However, the internals here from now on are going to be my uh, frame testing components because they seem absolutely reliable, and it's basically premium components in here. And uh, you should definitely try it yourself. If you're thinking, if you're the type of guy that doesn't like all-in-one flight controllers, go ahead and pick this up. Um, just think of it this way. If, if you don't want your ESCs out, just get a 4-in-1 ESC. Then you just have a 3-stack that has everything built in. All you need to do is just put motors and a camera and you're done. So it's basically also a all-in-one in a way, but it's a 3-stack all-in-one or a 2-stack. So... Overall, I mean, it performed good. I, I don't see any issues with it so far. I will be keep I will keep updating you on the status of this whole uh, setup here, and uh, we'll just see as time goes on. So, but so far, it's been performing. It's been reliable. I've had zero issues. Place it on the floor, go fly, and I enjoy. That's it. So this is just my take and my personal uh, experience and uh, just updates on this current setup. You know, this is gonna conclude it for the first update of this whole setup. Uh, the next time you're gonna see it, you're gonna see it on a different frame and we're gonna see how it performs. So, and also we're gonna make another video where we just go over this frame's performance here. And well, that's it guys. So I'll leave it every, to everything you see here, I'll leave it down in the links below. 
And if you have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.